To say a little bit more about the path, the path to freedom, as we see it in Buddhism, one could put it like this. We need to start the path, it's obvious, isn't it? It's blindingly obvious, where we are. With, so to speak, considering the space that we actually occupy now. In other words, what it is to be alive. One might say, well, I'm always doing that. Actually, you know, the thing is we're not. We're so busy, so busy chasing our dreams and schemes. We're distracted from distraction by distraction. So we don't actually really consider what it is to be human. And that is the, for Buddhism, that is, considering what it is to be human is the first teaching that one should take seriously. We call it the first of the reflections that will turn our mind to Dharma, to the teaching. That is to say that we should consider fully how wonderful the opportunity is that we have been, that we have through being a human being. You see, for Buddha, actually all beings have the potential for awakening. And he included animals in that. All beings, and even invisible types of beings who you may or may not see, or you may or not may or may not believe in. But for Buddha, everything with a mind has the potential for enlightenment, because what is enlightenment except realizing the nature of mind? But it's not in every form of life that that's possible. But there is something about human life which makes it possible. And that is, firstly, the freedom we have in human life. Freedom because we're not bewitched by intoxicating happiness, nor are we overwhelmed and oppressed totally by the gloominess of suffering. We have a potent mixture of happiness and suffering. Enough to awaken us, enough to stimulate us to reflection. And we have the space in our lives to make choices, to make moral choices. In a way that animals, it seems, cannot do, for instance, we can choose between good and evil. We can even choose freedom. Often we don't use those capacities, that freedom, but we have it. And having that freedom makes the second positive factor about human life really amazingly beneficial and it's this we've come into contact with a teaching like Buddhism which can show us the way to freedom so we have the freedom to choose and the freedom therefore to choose to practice the Dharma and the Dharma in our life those are extraordinarily rare things to come together but extraordinarily beneficial because with that freedom and with that connection with the Dharma we can make anything of our life we can even become a fully awakened human human being so this life is not something to be dismissed as a mere random accident to be treated in a blasé way it is something to be fulfilled it's like we're in a boat in which we can row across the ocean of suffering, in fact, if we use this human life properly. And where is this human life? It's here, now, at this moment.